and welcome back to redirecting this video it's not going to be that long at all very very short video I'm going to get straight into the point now what I want to talk about is when you present the truth about anything you will get people to unsubscribe to your channel okay um, YouTube has analytics in your back office that show you various things that are going on on your channel and included with that are your subscribers and unsubscribers right now get this when I do certain videos talking about certain subjects, you will go and you will see, okay, uh, this number of people decided to say goodbye, unsubscribe, okay? Now, does that stop you from telling the truth? No, you speak the truth regardless because despite the fact that we get people unsubscribed when we talk about certain things, we continue to talk about these things because for me and for, for this channel, the truth is what matters, right? And usually when people can't handle the truth, what do they do? They cut and they run because it's too much truth. Now, listen, I'm going to give you the main three reasons why we have lost subscribers on this channel. The main three reasons. And you can tell uh, what the reasons are based on the number of unsubscribers, right? Now, the first one is always racial topics. Always racial topics. Now, you can't really determine if the unsubscribers because they don't show you who they are right they only show you who your subscribers are they don't show you who leaves but whenever I talk about racial topics I can kind of tell from the comment section that it's a mix of both white and black that unsubscribe when I talk about racial topics um, as a matter of fact I had one recently where there was a, a gentile or a white guy who actually specified I'm a white guy and I really enjoy this channel but when you talk about these certain things, I feel like you're helping to cause and stir division. Okay, that's one type of unsubscriber, right? A person who saw something that you said in a previous video, they liked it and they were like, yeah! Now, let me tell you something. Usually in those, um, I will have so-called white people who will come on my channel and when I'm talking about anything dealing with the black community and our downfalls and how we need to improve and how this is happening and that's happening, guess what? Those are the ones they cheer on. They're like, yeah, this woman knows what she's talking about. But the minute I start talking about something as it relates to what white people are doing, they bounce. And I even have so-called black people who don't understand the system of white supremacy. They will come at you too. So you're just being very divisive. Why are you talking about this? The Bible says love everybody, right? Black people. And then they bounce. Now, the other group of people that kind of, um, the, where I get a lot of unsubscribers is when I talk about interracial marriages and dating. Now, I can imagine with that, these are people who are involved in them or they have family members who are, and the truth is so hard on their ears that they're like, I just can't take it anymore can't take it anymore she's always talking about interracial this interracial that interracial this interracial that and so I just can't take it no more I'm out of here so do I stop talking about those things do I stop talking about racial things because people are unsubscribing I continue to talk about them because the truth is what matters now lately the, the particular topics that I get a lot of unsubscribers on now Guess what it is? Whenever I talk about the subject of Africa, I looked at those videos and I'm like, man, so we stirred people up that much to where when you tell the truth about Africa, some of our people can't take it. So they, they're like, okay, bounce, I'm out of here. She's talking too much about Africa. So what that tells me is that we African Americans or Israelites or black people or Negroes or whatever you want to call us, colored, whatever. We are not allowed to have an opinion about Africa without people unsubscribing. Because they cannot handle the truth of what you're talking about. They say, okay, I got to bounce because there's too much truth over here. Because I never said to anyone not to travel to Africa or move to Africa. What I said was do your research and that trust is not given, it's earned. And that you need to look at everything and not just one thing. Don't just look at your desire to be there and base it all on that. Look at everything so you don't go out of the frying pan into the fire. That is all we said. 
But that too is another one of the fastest growing reasons on this channel why people are unsubscribing is because now those are not the only types of videos that we get unsubscribers on, but those are the top three being discussions about Africa, interracial dating and marriage and racial topics. By the way, those are the things uh, outside of Africa. I have been talking about Africa for years too, but various things that are happening on the continent to our people on the continent by these outsiders. Okay. But here recently has been more talking about us here in the diaspora going there, right? As long as I'm talking about what people are doing to our people on the continent, everyone's okay with that. But the minute you start talking about pausing a minute before going there, then all of a sudden people are angry and upset and they don't want to listen to you anymore, which is all I can say is fine by me. If you don't want to listen to it, so be it. If the racial people don't want to hear what we have to say about so-called white people, so be it. Goodbye. If those who don't want to hear about um, what the Bible says about interracial marriage and dating, I'm not going to stop talking about it because as long as our people are being affected by it, I must talk about it. Any truth that needs to be told will be told. Now, for those of you who think that I'm only supposed to read Bible scriptures, I'm a hat, a viewer, in which I mean no offense in saying this, but for years, this channel was never established as a ministry site. It's very rare that I even use the Bible on this channel because we have a ministry um, channel called Watchmen Reports. And we also have the Watchmen on the wall. And this originally established as Black Education TV was never about the Bible or religion or scriptures. Although we may reference scriptures from time to time, this is a commentary channel. So for the person who said they're getting tired of all these topics that I'm talking about and that they wish I would start using more scriptures and do it, that is not what this channel is. And so that is why I directed you to our other channels that deal, that deal mostly in biblical study. Okay. Um, like I said, I don't mean any offense to you when I say that, but you know, I all I have always stated to anyone, if there is a title or a subject that we're talking about that you don't feel is of interest to you, then you could just kind of skip that one over. Okay. We would like for our people to watch and be open about whatever discussions we have. Um, some of you, I notice videos that I do talking about gardening and stuff. They don't get as many views because not a lot of people are interested in growing food, right? They don't get a lot of views. But when I'm talking about other things that, of, that um, are, are of interest to you, then those are the ones you look at. Okay, those interested in gardening, they will look at those videos, right? Those interested in what we have to say about world affairs or um, interracial marriage or dating or what's happening to our people in these streets, what's happening to us in this country, um, our women, our men, our children. If those interest you, then you can view those. Okay, again, this video was meant to be very short. I think I went over what I wanted to actually say about this, but we understand that some things are a bit touchy, but unsubscribing because the truth is too hard on your ears. We're not going to change what we talk about. Okay. We're not going to soften things just to make people comfortable. That is not what we do here. But at the end of the day, we still love you. Shalom family. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.